I need some fizzy and I need it yesterday. Hey, you woke this one up when you rolled in, singing. Oh, I'm sorry, I was rotten. Yeah, tell me about it. I slept with a pillow over my head. Something about a suitcase? Uh-huh. Another suitcase in another hall. I was trying to do the lead vocal and the harmony. Yeah, well, don't get what your day job, eh? Right, see you later, greedy guts. <laughs> see you later, Mum. See you, love. Don't work too hard. Who oh, are? Uh, I think Daddy's starting to like you, Holly Dolly. Oh, yes, he is. Cos you're little chitty chops. Oh, yes, you are, little baby. Yes, you are. Not at 3am in the morning, she's not. Well, another stunt like that. It'll be your suitcase in another hall. I've said I'm sorry. Actually, whatever happened to Barbara Dixon? Who cares? Well, she's not even bobbed up on through the keel, has she? I mean, I like caravan, but January, February... You copped off, haven't you? No. Oh, all chirpy, despite having a hangover. Yeah, it hits from the musicals at 3am. Uh, we weren't born yesterday, were we, eh? Come on, spill. No, you want to. A gentleman never blabs. I knew it. Yeah, well, we'll work on him later. He always cracks under pressure, doesn't he? <laughs> Thought you'd still be in your pit. You're gonna have to stop fantasising about me, you know. Oh, yeah, right. What's with the good mood? Endorphins. Been to the gym. Oh, and now you're gonna undo all your good work with that. Well, they uh, cancel each other out. Yeah, only in World of Steve. Fancy a brew before you start? Yeah, all right then. Listen, Michelle, I think there's something that. Hey! You gonna take a tray up to Tracy? Nope. <laughs> yeah, very wise. I mean, you wouldn't want her anywhere near the knives, would you? <laughs> yeah, Tracy's not here, actually. <gasps> Don't tell me there's cracks in your rock solid relationship. Yes, if only she was perfect, like funny. Oh well. How was your sad lad's night out, anyway? Great, thanks. I really like opening it. Mm, I can imagine. What was it? Ten pints lap dancing in a curry? We did have a skin full, actually. At one point, I actually thought I was seeing things. Mm. Mm. Are you coming back to bed? <laughs> no. Mm? Well, go on. I like the uh, Carol Vorderman routine. This just gets worse. Remind me again that what's so great about Lost Leaders? It establishes your brand. Now, why don't you give your brain a rest and your husband a break? Maybe I should use a low-grade denim. False economy. It'll look cheap and nasty. What I need is more slave labour. Colour's the only one desperate enough to sign up. Even I tell me where to stick it. <clears throat> why don't you worry about that tomorrow, eh? Hey, how do you fancy? A pub lunch, a walk on Formby Beach, all bleak and windy, blow the cobwebs away, eh? Oh, just the two of us. Oh, well, our resident could be taken along. Hey, our Ryan thinks the world of you. He thinks the world of you. It's more of your wallet. Yeah, well, it is my best feature. Actually, it's your second best feature. Plan. You're not blowing me out. Oh, don't be daft. Ashley's DIYing low flying nuts and bolts. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to mind my hours? If that's okay with you. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a bomb site. Home from home for Hurricane Josh, then? Well, maybe I should go and tidy it. <gasps> you dare not be dead offended. All right, then. I need to go to work. <laughs> right. See you later. See ya. Hey, good luck, kids. Now, don't forget to try the gardens round the back of the Red Wreck and the place where they build the rides for the fun fair. Oh, yeah, good plan, cos it's the cage of death, isn't it? <laughs> where they hang people upside down. It's got to be worth a go. For a few coppers. Hey, big day from the Withy Arms. Once found a, a platinum ring there. Got 100 quid from the board shop. Oh, well, that's more like it. <laughs> There's gold in them there, Hill. Oh, <laughs> come on, then. See you later, Jack. Go out of here. You little darling. That's the one. Street cars. Yeah, where are you going to, love? Right. Do within ten minutes. Mm. Oh. Wakey, wakey. Do I have to? It's ten o'clock, man. How come you're not feeling rough? I don't know, mate. Hey, yeah. Sold the keys to the airport, Lloyd. I could do with a few more zeds, to be honest. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, what is the world coming to when you can't get a bit of shut out work? <laughs> I'll do it. He can stay local. That's the lad. Ooh, you cop off and all. Mm. Sean's been smirking for England. <coughs> Is he? 
Yeah, probably got somebody holed up in his bedroom. <laughs> this one lost 70 quid at the casino. I had to treat him to a shisha abracababra. <laughs> oh, hi. Here's for that, mate. <whistles> Just go easy on the cloud nine routine. Sean's bad enough. That new place was wall to wall, fit beds. And all we went home with was kebabs. So, I had the best night out I've had in ages. Bar none. Does anyone else want to go? It's hurting my neck. I'll have a go. Oh, he's beeping. Oh, I'm cooking! Oh, he got the maddest touch! Wow, whatever it is, it's big. It stretches from, like, here all the way to, like, here. Step back a bit further. Hey, we're in the money. Hey, we don't know that yet. It could be some rusty old bikes or something. Oh, yeah, cos people are forever burying bikes, let's face it. If you think about it, it's massive. It won't stop beeping. Right, we should start digging. <laughs> Hang on a minute. We don't know how big it is yet. Give it here. Hey. Oh no. You're doing it all wrong, you clown. <laughs> Congratulations, Kirky. You have struck steel in your steel cap boots. <laughs> <laughs> An impromptu gathering of her nearest and dearest will remind uh, Rita of her roots. <laughs> if we could hear ourselves over that blasted jukebox. Oh, well, your staff better. You can pull the plug. <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Betty. 59 again. Oh, <laughs> thereabouts. Oh. <laughs> Doreen's dragging me off for brunch. Oh, I found the birthday girl in a quilted dressing gown. <laughs> no makeup. Right. Quilted dressing gowns are verboten, mm -hmm. apparently. Fancy. Will we be seeing you later? I mean, might you have a window for your old friends? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Doreen. It's a bit bad form, that nourish, isn't it? Sniping at her on a special day. Oh, uh, Rita and I have a shorthand. Uh, our friendship doesn't need brunches, lunches or binge drinking sessions. Sure about that, are you? Oh, yes. I do with a bit of starch. Where's Eileen? No. So come on. 70 quid down the casino. And you're forking out for office cakes. Something is afoot. <clears throat> come on. May I classified information? <laughs> that you are dying to spill. Yes, I am. <laughs> it would seem that St. Sonny's halo has slipped. Oh, you're obsessed. I am not. I saw him with somebody last night playing tonsil tennis. Get away. Michelle, I'll kick her into the canal. You said it was a her. You messing? No. Last night? Hmm? How come you never said? Well, I was too busy feeling smug and, uh, let's face it, Michelle is going to need a heterosexual shoulder to cry on. If it was him, come on, let's face it, you're absolutely blinded. Sad shirt, more money than sense. Had to be him. Snogging the face off Sean. Sean, Sean. Go, Sean. Like I said, the best night I have had out, bar none. Poor cow. You're going to have to tell her. Oh, she keeps telling me to stay away, mate. You know what I mean? What can I do? Synchronised bladders. Obviously, it's a sign. I thought you'd be lying low today. Why? Did you know I was going to be in that bar? I didn't even know I was going to be in there. Like I told you, I was out with some very dull clients. Thought I'd have a bit of fun before I went on. So you're out on the pool? Oh, lighten up. It's just a little kiss for old time's sake. Steve nearly clocked us. Well, nearly being the operative word. I never realised you were such a dab hand at cheating. Come on. That wasn't cheating, that was a drunken smog. Move on. With pleasure. Yeah, right. Well, he's not said a word to me. Well, no, all he's fessed up to is a snog. Oh. Are you? Something you want to get off your chest? You are cocked. Your new boyfriend? Blabbermouth. 
Yeah, well, never mind him. Give us the goss. One snog, six vodkas. Actually, more like eight. Chance there's a direct connection between alcohol and the snog. Well, did you swap phone numbers or was it just saliva? <clears throat> Here, Sean's got a new chap. Really? No, he hasn't. The bloke was a head worker. And now, come on, Sean, you've got to think positive. I am. I'm positive he'd mess me around. And you see where it's green and all that? That's because it's, like, dead old. What's it worth? Could be four figures. Who's George? Oh, Kurt's gonna Google it. Yes! 20p! Hey, less my commission. <laughs> that was a joke. Hey, Chesney, come here. If I were you, I'd concentrate on Rovers and outside Chippy. People always drop cash when they're blathered. Genius idea. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Any luck, kid? 20p. Yeah, how long you been doing it? Two minutes. It's not bad, eh? Hey, softie. That's three hours' wages in my sweatshop. Speaking of which... Becky! You all right? Yeah, well, I will be once I know I can meet my next order. Cheap and cheerful me, you know. Yeah, I was hoping you'd say that. Night shift, eight hours. Only two pounds an hour less than I paid you last time. You winding me up? No. Well, once I'm established, I can charge more and then pay more, can't I? Yeah, I'll say that. Fine. My mistake. Well, actually, Haley's. You told me I ought to give you a second chance. Well, there's work and then the slave labour. And say so I didn't offer. Yes! Three quid! Well done, lad. Here, yeah, get yourself that CD. Nice one. Mum? You don't have to keep doing that. He's spoiled rotten his ears. I'm saying nothing. I think that'll be a first. Well, if he's happy, you're happy. I'll be happy when I get that tenner back. Well, that's up to your mum, mate. You don't have to keep giving him money. He likes you for who you are. Hey, Ryan, cheer up. There's always a bank of your Uncle Paul. Yeah, and Uncle Paul is starving, so come on. Have fun. <clears throat> is that it? Bye, did you want to talk a summit? <laughs> You're well out of order. <clears throat> it got a minute. Change your mind by any chance? Yeah, well, I'm desperate. Uh, I'll just move me in the car. All right, love. Yeah, well, so am I. I've only got Kelly. Oh, well, that'd be a laugh a minute, not. Hey, any funny business and you both out? Tell you what, you could ask around of that hostel of yours. See if anybody's worked a machine before. And will I get a commission? Because that's like recruitment consultant, that is. I'm sure we can come up with something. Or you could just pay me the same rate as last time. Let's see what you come up with first, shall we? He's a smooth operator, isn't he, eh? Mr. Gay Straight Man. No. Probably thinks he's got away with it, you know what I mean? Mm. You know, Ryan will be in a strop all week now. Consult for England, that one. Yeah, uh, that was my fault, sorry. Yep. Do you think you could be a bit less kind, generous and thoughtful next time? I'll give it a go. <laughs> mm. He's almost too good to be true, isn't he? £3.20? In about five seconds flat. Well, I'm selling this place. I'm going to invest in a metal detector. Have you got any special offers on, like, buy two, get one free? Oh, no, I'm sorry, love, I haven't. Oh, I see. Well, uh, I know you like your croissant, eh? <laughs> oh, Norris, it's lovely. Thank you. What do you do with it? Snuff out candles. <laughs> we only have candles when the magnets won't work on the lucky meter. My mum goes it. <laughs> Bet she does. <laughs> and birthday cakes. I only have one candle these days. I'll get that, Norris. You see to the treasure hunter. Ah, uh, come on, then. You've got the money, so make up your mind. What are you having? Could you join us in the pub, Norris? We thought we'd poodle over after. Uh, no, no. No, uh, are you going to join us in the pub, Doreen? Uh, see, Rita's uh, some of her closest friends. We, we're going to surprise her, but uh, you're welcome to join us too, of course. Thank you. There you go. 8.50, please, my fizz bomb, including mine. Thanks, Sean. And whatever Vernon's having, I'm feeling flush. <laughs> have you, uh, you found something, then? Imagine if we had enough money to go to New York. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool. New York. Or York. Is it? Well, no, yeah. that's not very good, that's Or even the Duke of York could have, like, a slap-up Sunday dinner, a few games of pool. Wow. Yeah. George. Yeah, it had George on it, and then a V1. 
It was caked in mud. Kirk's is Googling it now. Suppose having a drink with us is like the hors d'oeuvre before the main meal. Oh, come on, that's hardly fair. Oh, oh, surprise! surprise. <laughs> What's all this? Oh, many happy returns, sweetheart. Oh, Emily, love, thank you. Well, let me get some drinks. Oh. Hey, you sit. Oi, it's my birthday. I'm in the chair. <laughs> the bath chair, maybe. <laughs> we, we, we've got Buck's fizz. You heard what the man said. Sit down, shut up and open your prezzies. Well, that's me told. Oh, <laughs> she's a very spirited lady. And you're a very charitable one. When did you cook all this up? Oh, just the other day. <laughs> well, it's very much appreciated. Oh, oh. As a preamble. You're off into town, then? Cocktails at Harvey oh, Nichols, if you please. Oh, don't look like that, Norris. Life's for living. You're very welcome to join us. Do you know, my Gordon once bought me a lovely cocktail shaker with a book and all the paraphernalia for my 60th. It's never been out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect Doreen gets a thrill from telling some person, young enough to be a grandson, that she'd like some lewd-sounding concoction. What have I missed? <laughs> Pardon? Has your hangover finally kicked in? What? I don't think he's phoned. Oh, the mystery snorker. Look, can we drop it? Drop what? You told us diddly. Oh, and I wonder why. He might have just lost your number. Could just be playing it cool. Or he might be tucked up in bed at home with his girlfriend slash wife. What can I get you? Yeah, same again, please, Dollface. Now, if he called me Dollface, I'd be taking him to a tribunal. But I quite like it from you, honey bunny. I think she likes me. I feel dead tight, though. No more I know. Stay out of it. It's none of your business. There's only room for one cynic in our household. Yep, and it certainly isn't you. Look, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. <sighs> you were on a high this morning. I was still drunk. Look, all we need to do is go back there next week, same time, same night. Yeah, I bet he's in the exact same spot with his tongue hanging out. Right, listen, I'm going to get off before Claire calls environmental health. You must really like him to be pinning so much on one snog. Nah. I had me beer goggles on. He went out special. Hiya. Hiya. Are you winning? Oh, sorry, it's the wrong house. I was expecting a tip that smelled a baby sick. Freddie and Holly are both flat out. I've just checked on them. Oh, I hope you don't mind. Mind? Oh, by rights, I should hate you. Why? Oh, Mother Teresa meets Superwoman. Get lost. Right, wait for your hype. Better at ironing than me. And you've got a lovely family. And so have you. And an extended family of waifs and strays. And those taxi drivers worship the ground you walk on. Yeah, they just want decent fares. Josh, you're going to give Auntie Eileen her present. <gasps> oh. That is you and Holly and Jason. Wow. Jason's going to love that. Hey, it's brilliant. Should be paint all over here. He's come out with the S word twice this morning. Uh, well, I, I swear it wasn't me. I mean, I just, I don't swear, not in front of kids. No, it were me. I caught myself with the iron and it sort of slipped out. Oh, welcome to the human race, you dirty mare. <laughs> well, I said you're on your tea break. And all the uh, girlies are worried about you. Something you want to tell me? I'm unshockable, remember? I live in a big glass house. Oh, God. What? You know the bloke I snogged? Yeah, what about him? Well, he's an old flame. Well, yeah. is that so terrible? It's Sonny. Michelle's Sonny. I know I won't be able to keep my hands off him. Oh, that that one? Yeah. Think of it. Oh, woo! Oh, yeah. oh, I get it, I get it. It's doing that thing you do when you pass your driving test but you pretend you failed. Kirky, get a pint. So. Come on then. Talk, turkey, kirky. King George VI was a Queen's dad. 
go away. But which queen? Exactly. That is a ten million dollar question. It's a ten a penny question, mate. You are. Oh look, don't worry. Even if it's just a couple of hundred quid, I'll be chuffed. Morgan buys a round of crisps. You joke. Kidder, if you want to get the low down on George the Sixth, ask Betty. She's got thirty years on that coin. Hey. Hey, yeah. How many miles? About six. Twice around the park, then I jogged to my mum's. Ooh. Jogging's bad for your knees, mate. Yeah, yeah, and your heart. Yeah, yeah, mm. yes. Loads of joggers keel over before they're 50. <laughs> Brown bread. Wholemeal, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you, uh, do you do weights? You know what I mean, with the, with the weights? But not as often as I should. Yeah, well, he's got pecs to die for. Steve does weights, don't you, Steve? Here's him for a 20 year wait when Tracy gets sent down. Soon she'll be slipping on them stripy pyjamas, the ones with strange ways embroidered on the back. <laughs> Single mother goes to prison, how we laugh. Uh, hello. There is a small matter of a corpse. Uh, I was just laughing at pyjamas. <laughs> at least she admitted to what she'd done. Played it straight. Yes, well, you pay the wages and your girlfriend's a lovely, sweet-tempered girl with a heart of gold. Well, we can't all have the perfect relationship, shall we? Well, we can, if we hold out for long enough. Just got to keep the faith. Faith? The medical she needs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, coming up next on STV, time to take stock of the good things in life in Wilder Turret. Then at nine, a face from the past gives Lewis something to think about.